The Trelleborg region in southern Sweden is currently investing in a new range of biogas projects. Here at Jordberge, some 20 kilometers outside the city of Trelleborg, the world's third largest biogas plant is being constructed to provide heat and electricity for the region's needs. The reactor, which is partly financed by the Baltic Sea Action Plan Fund, will use locally grown biomass as fuel to keep the engines going. We can produce 110 GWh and with mulled products, 110 000 tons. Then comes biogas back to the landbruket. Then we will on a sight not compete with the leasemail production, because we are working on developing a system for mellangrödor. The reactor will use primarily sugar beet, corn, different types of grain and byproducts from the region's food industry. The plant is expected to decrease emissions of carbon dioxide by 28,000 tons per year. As a bonus, the project will also benefit the Baltic Sea by reducing nutrient flows from farmlands by using crop rotation and meadow grazing periods. All the rest products that you don't take to the water today, they give a kväve emission to the luft and that also falls to the last in Östersjön. But the new one with Mellangrad, we turn the mark on the field. Instead of when under the summer we have big nederbörder, to the last falls the nearest cow in Östersjön. We fill it up with these Mellangrad. The city of Trelleborg has transformed into a business hub supporting innovative energy solutions benefiting both the climate and the ecological state of the Baltic Sea. Here at Smugahamn, the city is busy constructing a biogas plant that will use algae to be collected from the region's beaches. Det vi först och främst jobbar med är övergödningen i havet så vi vill ta upp näringsämnen från havet som har ansamlats i algerna som vi plockar upp. Och sen så vill vi ha rena stränder här. Och sen får vi också förnyelse bara energi. Och eftersom vi försöker ställa om till helt fossilfritt till 2020 så behöver vi många olika källor av förnyelse bara energi i kommunen. The project in Smugahamn, supported by the BSAP fund, will also serve as a model and benchmark for other coastal municipalities in the Skåne region of southern Sweden. These technical solutions can easily be adopted elsewhere. Som samlar ihop alger på badstränden under sommaren och lägger det i en hög och sen har olika sätt att göra sig av med det. Antingen låter man havet ta tillbaka det eller så lägger man det någonstans bara. Så det är ett stort problem för många kommuner vad man ska göra med all den, alla alger som är ett resultat av övergivningen.